Hey guys, off to town again. Um, it is Tuesday, I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think it's Tuesday and I have an idea for our fun Friday. Actually, it was one of you guys' ideas, but I'm not going to tell you what it is because it's going to be a surprise because I think it's a good one. Um, so we're going to go see if we can find that. And I have a couple of things to return. I still haven't returned the GNC thing, so I need to do that. Um, I also... I'm going to Walmart because we have to have something for dinner. I think that's it. Walmart. Oh, I have to go to Fox Farms and get some more faux tie. And that's it. I think. So mostly Walmart. And actually, I'm going to go to Walmart first. If I can get everything there, then I'm not going to drive the other 20 minutes on into a bigger town to get to, to return these. I'll return them later. So, anyways, I'll let you know after I go to Walmart. Okay, guys, I am so far having a super strikeout day. The product that I wanted to get for Friday doesn't seem to be available here. And I don't have time, of course, since it's Tuesday, to get it by Friday in the mail. It was gonna, I was going to try the adhesive, the self-adhesive lashes. And I googled it and it says that Ardell makes them, uh, Salon Perfect makes them, that's the Walmart brand, and Revlon is supposed to have a pair too. Well, I went to Walmart, I went to Walgreens, I went to Ulta, nobody has, Ulta hasn't even heard of them yet here. So, somebody asked me where I was at too, I'm in Southwest Missouri, because they were in... I don't remember where they were, but they were in the Midwest too. And so, and I was reading it when I was on the run, so I didn't answer it at the time and I tend to forget. So that's why sometimes you get, you guys will get answers from me like a week later or three days later because I actually usually get to read them when you put them up, but if I'm busy, I don't answer them right then and then I forget to. I don't know, it just seems like if Elsa hasn't even heard of them yet, then they're probably not going to be in Missouri for a long time. <laughs> so, I don't know what we're going to do. Probably going to do another Get Ready With Me on Friday. Um, we'll try some... Maybe we'll do another Get Ready, get ready With Me of nothing new. <laughs> Just all the stuff I already have. Because that way we can try out some... We can use some of the stuff that I know I love that I don't get to use very often because usually when I go to town I am going to end up having to film when I get home so I don't put makeup on to go to town that's why last week's video or last week's vlog I don't think I had makeup on one single time today I have makeup on see just for you guys so anyways, I will check back in. I'm gonna head to Fox Farms first and then CBS and then home. So hopefully we will find something. I got them. I can't believe it. They had them at CBS. They never have anything I need at CBS, but they had them. I almost didn't see them though because they were like over away from the other eyelashes. But I'm so excited that's what we're gonna do on Friday. And now I have a fun Friday for this week and I have some vlog footage. So anyways, if you are going to go buy them, I'll show you what the package looks like. Just like that. They're called press-ons. And even the Ardell, it doesn't, you can hardly even see, notice it. I mean, you can see it, but I'm so excited we get to try them. I bought two because I found them and that was the only place. And then I did buy at, uh, I bought a brown eyeliner gel, the tattoo, the Maybelline Tattoo Studio, because I love the black. And they talked me into, well, I actually watched Lisa Lisa D, um, a video she made, and she did a whole review. Um, she was not reviewing this, but she it was she used it, and so, and it's the Rollerball, no Roller Lines eyeliner from Benefit. So I got one and then, and then they talked me into getting brown 
well they didn't really talk me into it I just said I usually never like brown because I have so many wrinkles on the outside of my eye that every time I use brown it's like I can see the wrinkles and I don't like it and so she convinced me that this is such a dark brown that it should work and if not I can take it back right so that's what we're gonna try that too I don't know if we'll try it on Friday or if we'll try it next week in our um, Wednesday video where we do eyes anyways I also went to Fox Farms. Remember I said I was going to go to Fox Farms and get some bow tie? They were out. I couldn't believe it. It's just been one of those days. But then I decided since I was headed towards um, CVS, I, there was Suzanne's Natural Foods was there. And I thought, huh, I'll just stop there and see if they have it. And they did. So it's all good. I got everything I came to town for. Okay guys, we are off to town again. This time we're not going shopping. Well, actually I am going shopping, but I am going to get my hair done. Oh, and I'm trying out these new press-on lashes. You guys will have already seen this though, because I'm gonna put it up as our fun Friday. But I'm really liking them. They seem like they're nice and secure. So anyways, we're off to get my hair done, which needs it really bad. Hey guys. For today's part of today's vlog, I wanted to try this mask that I saw on Pinterest. And it is a mask that's made from potato starch and egg white. And you're supposed to mix it up and put it on your face and leave it on there for 30 minutes. It's supposed to get rid of all your wrinkles. Of course, she did say you got to do it like two to three times a week. I don't know if I'm going to do that. But anyways, I just wanted to let you know that we're going to do that. We're going to go downstairs now and we're going to prepare it. Because it takes a little while to prepare the potato. You'll see why. Because you got to do something and then let it sit for like two hours. So we're going to go downstairs and prepare our mask. And then we'll come back up here and put it on. We'll be back. We're, we're on our way downstairs to make it. I just thought it'd be cool to put it in the vlog because I decided I wanted to do it. So that's what we're doing. Okay guys, this is how we do it. This is what it said. It said to take two potatoes, medium sized potatoes. These are russet potatoes and for time constraints, I already have them. You're supposed to wash them and peel them. So I've already done that. And then you grate them. But I'm gonna use my Cuisinart because I'm lazy. But I do need to cut them because they're not going to go through this hole if I don't cut them. So this is how you make your potato starch. You just grate your potatoes. And then you have to let it sit for two hours. So I'm going to go ahead and grate the potatoes. Uh, I'll probably turn the sound down for this because it's going to be noisy when I do this. And my thing is broken because I'm not very smart and I did something bad to it. So I'm just going to turn it on. Or not. Over there. And put those through. Actually, maybe I can do two at once. Grated. So then you take this off. How do I take it off? That out and then take this off. I always try to turn it the wrong way, that's how. And then you take this out. I haven't used this in a long time because I broke it. And then when I decided to do this, I thought, I wonder if I can still get it to work. I need to buy a new this part because this little thing right here is broken and that's what locks it in there. So anyways, then you take all these potato peels, I mean grated potato. Always try to turn it the wrong way, remember? And you put it in, can you see? I have a bowl with a strainer and basically I'm gonna put it all in here. These aren't very juicy potatoes, are they? But that's what you do. You put it all in there. 
and then you squeeze it to get the juice to go into the bowl. She got a bunch of juice. I don't see a bunch of juice coming out. I see a very little bit of juice coming out. She grated her potatoes by hand though. I don't see how that would make a difference. I don't have very juicy potatoes. She had the same potatoes though. The same kind. Anyways, that's what you do. And then after you squeeze all the juice out, much as you can get out get rid of those potatoes what a messy thing huh so you probably should just do like a little bit of it at a time rather than putting it all in there maybe it wouldn't be quite so messy I don't know it's pretty messy but it, if it works it's a lot cheaper than the stuff you can buy You're supposed to end up with two tablespoons. I don't see that happening. And she ended up with exactly two tablespoons. Why is it whenever I do these, it seems like I do something wrong? All right. Hopefully we'll end up with two tablespoons of juice. Maybe she just had a smaller bowl than mine. That's what I'm gonna go with. You let this sit for like two hours so that it separates. Cause I'll show you, it's already starting to. Yeah, it was just that one little piece of potato. I should have used a smaller bowl, huh? So anyways, see how it's starting to separate? I don't know if you can see it. And that white stuff, that white stuff's what you want. That white stuff's what I'm supposed to end up with two tablespoons of. I don't think it's gonna take two hours, but that's what she said, to let it set for like two hours. So that's what we're gonna do. I'll be back in two hours to finish this recipe and then put it on my face and you leave it on for 30 minutes. So after that, I will show you the after. And we'll see, I don't know, I think it's gonna work because it's got um, egg in it. So the egg's gonna tighten whether it, and she said you have to do it two to three times a, a week. That's not gonna happen. This is too much of a bother. But I don't know if it works really good, maybe I will. So anyways, I'll be back. Anyways, this is what you do. You take this and you pour really slowly this um, juice off the top just like that okay so now we're starting to lose some of our starch so then you just stir that little bit of juice that was still in there this stuff is really like stuck to the bottom and thick. So you stir all that back together. That's what is your potato starch. And it's got a bunch of 
vitamins and enzymes and all kinds of things in it that are really good for your skin. So get all that stirred up. There's no way we got two tablespoons here. So I'm gonna dump this out and use this bowl. That's how much egg white I'm gonna put in and so that it's still an even mixture, but it may not be two tablespoons because there's one of those. I'm just gonna use this spoon. And then two. Not quite three. Maybe we'll scrape that out and that'll make three teaspoonish. And then we're gonna separate our egg. so that we can have, it's you just, just the white. I don't know if I'm, I know I'm not very good at this, but hopefully. I can do it good enough, right? I just need those three teaspoons of egg white. So then I'm gonna take this spoon again and get the same amount of this egg white. One. Two, those don't seem like they're full teaspoons. That should do it. And then mix these two together. And that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna go upstairs and put this on my face. And you're supposed to leave it on for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put it on, and I'm gonna put it on with a brush, and I'm gonna leave it on for 30 minutes, and I'll come back and show you what it looks like after 30 minutes, and then I'll rinse it off and show you what it looks like after it's done. All right, we got it all prepared. I'm back upstairs, and here it is. It's all ready. Can you see what it looks like? It's kind of gross looking. That's why I'm gonna put it on with a brush. And this is our potato starch and egg white. And I don't have as much as, as the person who I saw make it on Pinterest because, I don't know, she said two medium potatoes and that's what I did. But I didn't get, I don't think I got a full two tablespoons, but I'm sure I've got enough to uh, make it work. And I'm gonna put it on with my wet and wild flat, but kabuki brush. Ooh, -hoo, it's cold. Of course, I'm just cold-blooded. Everything's cold. Oh yeah, I got more than enough. This stuff's going a long ways. It's really soaking into this brush. So we're gonna go all the way back here. She said you can do your neck and your decollete too. But Obviously, I'm not going to because I've got a shirt on. I will go down a little ways, but I've got a shirt on that's too high, and I'm getting it up as close as I can to my eyes because it really, the egg in it really tightens. It's got vitamins in it. The potato starch has got lots of vitamins in it, and the egg's got vitamins in it too, but it's, uh, I'm sure it's the egg that tightens up all your skin while well, it's on there anyways. I don't know what it does as far as after the fact, got a lot of wrinkles right there. Got to get a lot of stuff right there. Ugh, that was gross. Get it in your eye. Luckily, it's just potato juice and egg white. It's only egg white. I don't know if I got that off enough. I think I did. So, yes. That's plenty, even though I didn't have like a full two tablespoons like she did. It's more than enough to cover my whole face. And neck. Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, that's enough. Now. Supposed to leave it on for 30 minutes. Ah! I'm a mess. Now I'm a real mess. 
So I'll be back in 30 minutes to let you see what it looks like. And then I'll come back again after I rinse it off. Okay, guys, this is what it looks like. Can you see? It makes my eyes look really... Oops, this eye. Look at that. That's because there's a lot more down here than there is on my eye, so it's pulling it, sucking it down. It's really, really tight right here, which is good because I want it tight right there and crusty right there. Anyways, I just wanted you to see what it looks like dried. I'm going to go wash it off. I'll be back. Okay, guys, I am back, and this is what it looks like after. Whoops. Um, it did turn my skin red around the edges, like right inside my hairline. But I didn't know if that was because of the, the mask itself or because I scrubbed so hard to get it off. But I think maybe it was the mask. But it's going away. So my face feels really nice and soft. And it does look like it's got less lines in it right now. And all I did was well, I rinsed it off with warm water and then I used my contact sponge and my soap that I make and just washed my face and then put some of my CeraVe daily moisturizer on because I'm going to do it again in a little bit when it's bedtime. So I didn't want to put a bunch of stuff on so I just put some moisturizer on. But it feels good. I don't know if it's worth all the trouble because it was a pain in the butt doing that potato thing. But we'll see how it looks tomorrow. If, if it looks like I have less lines tomorrow, then I probably will do it again. Anyway, um, I was going to tell you guys one more thing. I made the best chicken taco meat last night in my Instapot, Instant Pot. And so I was just going to tell you how I did it because I didn't film it. I took six frozen chicken breasts, the kind you buy like in the bag from Walmart. Um, the ones that have no bones, it's just meat. I mean, yeah, it's just meat. No skin, no bones. And they're frozen hard as a little rock. And I put like six of them in my, and I have an eight quart instant pot. So I put six of them in there. I put two cups of salsa. Now this is the key. The salsa that I used, I didn't have any regular salsa, but I had this pineapple peach salsa. So I used that. So I put two cups of that in there and then a package of taco seasoning, just regular, you know, the little packages, Lowry's, or I don't even know what the brand is, whatever the brand is at Walmart. And the peach, I mean, the, yeah, the peach pineapple salsa was great, great value brand. I can't talk anymore. It's getting too late, huh? And I just put it all in my Instapot. I turned it on high for 12 minutes and then I let it, um, whatever that's called when you have to you can either release the pressure or you can let the pressure go down by itself well I let the pressure go down by itself that's what I'm trying to say and then we just shredded it up and it was it's so good it really is you can't definitely taste the peach and pineapple I mean it doesn't taste like peach and pineapple but it's just got a little sweet tinge to it it's so good so good anyways I'm going to end this vlog now because I have to take this footage, put it on the computer, and make a video to go up tomorrow morning. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. Wow, I'll see you in my next video. Stay cool.